Hey XTC fans, and welcome to the video walkthrough of setting up the XTC subnet. So here I'm on the um, subnet deployment uh, documentation. So let's go through um, the contents first, uh, requirements. Uh, I'm running this on my MacBook. So as you can see, it is suitable um, for our testing uh, demo today. Docker and Docker Compose, uh, I have this in, already installed in my machine. Hardware, uh, this is capable. And Web3 Wallet with funds. Okay, so um, I'm going to show this in, in a few minutes. Uh, we can get some testing uh, uh, tokens on the test network. Uh, next, the video walkthrough. Um, that is where this video is going to go. So let's skip this part and on to the generating subnet configuration using UI. So first, uh, pull the generator script using this command. Okay. So copy it. Here I have my VS code already. We have this script. Um, step two, run the, run the script that we just downloaded, which will start a web server. Just copy the commands. Okay, and next, uh, we should open this URL that we just started using the script. So, so it's sent here in the command line. So we are here in this um, config UI page. Uh, let's go through the configs one by one. Um, and also, if you would like to learn more about the configs, you can hover over this question mark uh, question mark symbol to see extra information. So, so let's start with the name. I'll call my network uh, demo. Number of nodes, I think three is good. Operating system, I'm running on the MacBook. Um, for the subnet keys, um, I, I don't want, I don't want to decide on it, so I'll just um let the system randomize it for me. Uh, for the versions, you can also select the component versions, um, but I would. Just leave it as the default, which will select the stable versions for me. Okay. Uh, on the parent net, parent network that we are going to checkpoint the subnet to, um, I would just uh, as a testing network, I would use testnet or apotem. So this is fine. Okay. So the parent net wallet PK. This is um, the wallet in the testnet that has testnet tokens that you will, that the subnet relayer will use to checkpoint um, the subnet blocks into uh, your parent network which is the testnet in this case um, so if you already have a wallet then you can just put your private key here but if you don't have the wallet um, we have included a helper uh, with the address generator so you can uh, randomize a new address. So let's say we will use uh, this wallet private key. Um, but then this do not have any uh, testnet tokens uh, that we will use for checkpointing. So we also need to go to a faucet um, to create, to uh, give some tokens uh, to this address. So. Uh, we copy our uh, public key and then we can check first the block scan uh, faucet. So put our uh, public key, make the request. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, now we have 1000 testnet tokens. And just to check out the other faucet as well. Um, we can put our address here. 
but this faucet is a special. You have to use the XCC prefix instead of the COX prefix. So just replace COX with XCC, um, and we're gonna make the request. Yeah, I'm still a human. Okay, now we have 2,000 testnet tokens in our wallet. Um, yeah, so we layer mode full and light. You can see the difference um, in our documentation. Um, and on the XDC0, you can also enable, uh, this is our um, cross chain communication platform for the subnet and the mainnet uh, and the parent net to have um, to be able to transfer between each other. So this is our framework. Uh, we are not going to show this, uh, install it in this demo, but if you like to install this in your subnet, you can check out the options. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so I think we have input all the uh, parameters um, so we just first submit here to generate the subnet configurations so as you can see generation success please follow instructions in um, generated commands file so back to our VS code um, under our here we have a new generated um, folder that's created after uh, we submitted our inputs. Um, okay, so these are the configuration files that has been generated. Uh, and the one that we're interested in is commands.txt. Here we can see the instructions to start up the subnet. So um, let's go through the commands.txt. Number one, deploy the subnet nodes. So copy this command, just run it. Okay. So after the node has been started, you have to let it uh, warm up for a while um, and let it start uh, mining blocks. So here on step two, after 60 seconds, confirm subnet is running correctly. And this is just a check script to see um, if the blocks have been mined in your subnet. So let's see. Okay, here we can see um, box number six is mined, number seven is mined, and number nine. So uh, if your subnet is already mining blocks, then we can proceed to step three, which is to deploy the checkpoint smart contract. Um, and this smart contract, will be deployed on the parent network, which is the uh, testnet or apotem in this demo. So go ahead and run the following commands. Okay. Um, okay, then let's continue with step four. Add the CSC configuration to the common.env file. So as you can see the last, uh, when we deployed the checkpoint contract, we have the address, the contract address. Um, as the output, here we just copy it into the configuration file, common.env. Okay, so here is our checkpoint contract that is just waiting for uh, us to put the address. So put the address here, remove the uh, default line. And let's continue in our commands uh, section. So after we copy on step four, then step five will be to start the uh, article subnet components, which is the relayer, backend, and frontend. Okay, so let's do that. So to continue, you can see that in step six, 
um, uh, we just open up the uh, UI, the standard UI that uh, we have uh, launched in the previous step. Uh, here, just to note, the front end uh, can take a while to load up, so just wait two or three minutes uh, before checking uh, uh, this local website. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, this is the summit that we have just uh, launched. It is up, running, and mining, and on the second line here, you can see the checkpoints in the parent chain that it is continually catching up to the latest actually mined block in the subnet. Um, yeah, and that will end the subnet um, setup uh, video walkthrough right here. Um, to explore further how to use the subnet and so on, uh, please continue to check our documentation and other resources. Uh, thank you so much.